Hey, my friend, what's going on? It's Carolina Millan here coming to you from my office in Chile. And in today's video, I just want to share a really, really simple yet powerful concept, especially if you're just starting out online and you keep hearing the word funnel and lead generation and you're wondering, what is that? And how can I use one? How can I build one in an easy, simple way? So I'm going to make this video very, very uh practical. That's why I have my whiteboard here with me. So let me show you real quick. Okay, let's, let's start this drawing here. Now a funnel, okay, literally, what is a funnel? This is a funnel. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry in advance if my drawings are not too perfect. But uh, I'm doing my best here, right? So in the business world, when you talk about a funnel, it does have the same shape, theoretically, of course. And the reason is that you will get a ton of people that will come here to your site. And obviously, the people that come through the other side, there will be less, I mean, a, a smaller amount of people than all the people who will be exposed to your offer, right? That's why it's called a funnel. And they go through different stages inside of the funnel. And then when they come out at the other side, this is where the money comes in. So one of the first things that I tell people when we talk about funnels and, you know, we talk about the concept of clicks and eyeballs and just basically people seeing your offer, right? Your, your site. I don't want to say website because the website is not exactly the same as a funnel anymore. Uh, what I tell people is, if you want to see these dollar signs come out at the other end of the funnel, you have to make sure you're adding value in this process here somewhere, okay? And that people can perceive that value. And that value should always be, okay, that perception should always be higher than whatever dollar sign you are putting to your product or service, all right? so. Always, always, always make sure that you're adding value to people, that you're treating them as people. Please treat them as people and not like an ATM machine, okay? People are not an ATM machine. They are people and they want to be treated as such. And when you show people that you care, when, when you show them that you want them to succeed, that you want them to get value from your product or service, when you add value, when you teach them, when you share something that is going to help them, they're going to be willing to give you money. Now, here's another important thing. There are tons of people exposing their offers, their funnels, advertising. So the same clients that you are going after are probably being pursued by a bunch of other people. And so the only way for you to make that difference is to add more value than anyone else in your marketplace. Okay, more value than anyone else in your marketplace. So what you have to do, another step, another important step in this whole process, we're, we're going to get to the more practical side of this. This is like the theory at uh, first, just to get you up to up to speed with this, um, is that you show them that you care. All right. Now, the other thing you have to do is in order to add more value than anyone else in your market marketplace, you must be willing to study your marketplace, your marketplace a little bit. That's why you have Google. So you go in, you type the keywords of whatever it is you want to sell and figure out what the other people are doing and how you can add more value. Now, depending on the niche, there might be a leader already. There might be someone doing, doing this extremely well. Okay, let's say you want to offer coaching, life coaching. You go on Google, you search for life coaching, and you see what people are offering. And if you see people who are doing it extremely well and you're just getting started, don't get frustrated with that. Like That's the last thing you need to focus on. You just need to focus on the fact that, wow, if there's competition, if there are people doing it so well, that means there's demand. That means there's room for me too. That means maybe there's a gap I can fill. And how do you fill that gap? Through your funnel, but through your offer. 
and by making your offer very niche focused. So back to the life coaching example, if you just offer, hi, I offer life coaching, that is extremely general, extremely vague. And so there's a very big chance that in the life coaching space, there's a lot of competition there already. But if you look at life coaching as the universe, and then you start looking for little solar systems that you can tap into, and then inside the solar systems, you find that one planet where you can make money, that's when you find your niche. So if you look at life coaching, there's life coaching for relationships, life coaching for people to deal with frustration, life coaching with people who have low self-esteem issues, life coaching for people who are stressed because of their job or people who are stressed because of parenthood or I don't know, there are tons, tons of ways in which life coaching can help somebody and then you can go ahead and become the go-to person in that space, okay? So that's just an example for you to understand the concept of finding a niche within a big market and crafting an offer that adds more value than anyone else, right? So those are the first concepts I wanted you to be familiar with. Now, let's go to... Let's clear the page. That's funny. I'm getting some weird advertising down here for underwear. Every now and again, you might see a semi-naked guy, so ignore it. <laughs> so now let's look at a funnel in a more practical way. Okay, so a funnel, and what I really want you to focus on, and I mean, what I really want to share with you in this video is how to build the most simple funnel ever. Okay, and that is what we call the two-step funnel. Okay, so what is a two-step funnel? Literally, it's two steps. It's two pages. So here you have what we call the opt-in page. This is where people go in, they give you their details. It could be their name, their email, phone number. It could be just name and email. It could be a little bit more of information, but usually on an opt-in page, you don't want to ask for more than name, email, and phone, and maybe country code for their phone or location, or maybe ask them one or two questions about why they're here, and that's it. You don't want to start asking for their address and how many people work at your company if it's just an opt-in page. Now, I see a lot of companies who have this really, really long list of details that they ask for people on an opt-in page, just so they can download a free guide or a free ebook or PDF report. Um, I'm not gonna say names, but companies like HubSpot, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, actually HubSpot, they, they create amazing value. They create these really great reports, but in order to download them, they ask you even what you had for lunch yesterday. So I very, very rarely download their guides just because they ask for too much information. Now it works for them, then great. I mean, that's why they keep doing it. So great. They have a team of people calling back everybody all the time and selling their platform, which is a great platform, by the way. So that may work for some people, for some industries. Now, for us, digital entrepreneurs, for us who do coaching and services and, and who want to teach people something, Whatever it is, doesn't have to be marketing, whatever it is you want to show people or teach people, whatever your talent is that you sell, um, you don't need all that information at first. You will collect it later. Okay. So the first step is the opt-in, okay? And the opt-in page of the funnel is usually uh, it could be this could be like an image or it could be a video of you introducing yourself real quick, 90 second video. And then over here, there's going to be a headline of whatever it is that you're offering them. And then here below, there are going to be the fields for people to enter their name, their email, maybe their phone too. And then a big button that says, yes, give it to me. Or yes, I want it. Yes, download the book, download the ebook. Yes, book the call, whatever. Okay. Um, and then here below, if it applies for you, you may have like one or two testimonials from pe uh, previous clients you may have worked with. And that's it. So keep it simple, stupid, right? Uh, 
So over here, like I said, it could be an image of you, it could be a video of you. Just keep it, keep it um, short. Because you don't want people to get too distracted with this video, you just want them to opt in. That's why it's called an opt-in page. Now, how do you get people to show up here? Right now, the number one tool that I use is Facebook ads. That's how I get people to see this page and that way I get the right people to see this page. I don't, I don't want just clicks. I don't want just anybody to be seeing this page. I want the people who are going to be interested, the people who are going to be touched by this headline. Now, just to give you an example, going back to the life coaching example. Let's say you want to become a life coach who specializes in relationships between people who are already in their 50s and above. I'm just making stuff up. So what would be a headline uh, that would entice the people who are having some issues in their relationships, you know, after the kids have grown up and they're now alone and they want to continue with their lives, but they struggle there. So what could be a struggle that you can help them fix? People go online for two reasons, entertainment and solving problems. Those are the two reasons people go online. So if you're an entertainer, great, focus on entertaining people. If you're in the problem solving business, like I am, like a lot of us are, then figure out how you can help people with a certain problem that will ease their pain or without the huge amount of pain that they usually have to go through. So that's it, really, that's it. Let me give you an example. How to relive the fire after 20 years of marriage without being awkward. I don't know, I just made that up. <laughs> the formula here, my friend, okay, for you to write a compelling headline is gonna be, and by the way, I'm not a, I'm not a copywriter myself. I don't consider myself at all good at writing copy, but I've been marketing for 10 years now, so I know a thing or two. Wouldn't call myself an expert at copywriting, but I know a, a thing or two. So one of the usual formulas is how to insert the problem, right? How to solve problem without pain. So fill in the blanks, how to certain problem without a certain pain. Okay, so work on that, think of the how-to that you can help people with and the without. What is their pain? And work on a few headlines. And you got yourself a landing page or opt-in page. You can call it an opt-in page too. Now, step two, right? What is step two? Let's go back here to the drawing. When people give you their details, they usually get redirected, redirected, I don't know if I said that right, to the confirmation page, which is often called the thank you page too. So on this confirmation page, what do you do? You confirm that they're getting what they're gonna get. Now, here's an important detail, by the way. This headline, right, you have to deliver the result or the how-to or the tutorial that you're, gonna, that you're saying you're going to share with them. If you're really going to show them how to stop your baby from crying without any violence, I don't want to use the word, I know the word violence is very strong, but I couldn't think of something um, right now. Um, you have to deliver on that promise. That is really important because that's how you add value to people and that's how they give you their details and then they're not disappointed that you said you were going to show them how to do this and you didn't show them anything. All right, so keep the value up. Now, in this confirmation page, you can do two things. The first thing you can do is deliver a video or a tutorial where you're going to show them how, you, how they can do the certain thing that you promised them. So this could be a video of you and here you, it could be a little longer, right? Over here on the opt-in page, it could be just an invitation video, just introducing yourself and here's what you're gonna learn today. And then here you can actually go ahead and teach them that. So this could be a 20, maybe 30 minute video. And on this 20, 30 minute video, you give value freely, you teach them how to do that one thing you said you were gonna teach them. And then at the end, you can make an offer to work with you, 
okay? Or it could be an offer to get your online course. Okay, or anything that you might be selling. So that's one thing you can do in the confirmation page. Now, if what you're offering is, let's say, instead of a video tutorial or, or a training video, if what you're offering is an, an, an ebook, right? Or something that they have to download and they have to check their email to get it, and that ebook or whatever is free, well, this thing here, this is what we call a lead magnet. This thing here, right? You deliver it via email. They get a well, they get a confirmation email. Here's your download, whatever. Here's the book, and then in, inside of this ebook, you go ahead and you deliver on the promise, and then also at the end, you can make an offer too. Like you can totally do that. So when you go the ebook way or the digital download way, it could be an audio, it could be anything that you want. This confirmation page, instead of making an offer, what you can do is invite them. Right? Let's make a, an alternative page, right? You still have a video of you, right? Hey, congratulations. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, your ebook is on the way. Check your email in a few minutes. But first, I have something very special for you. So then here, you can still sell them something. Now, make sure that whatever it is you sell them here is not too expensive because the whole point of this is that it's a no-brainer. So the first time people ever buy something from you, make it a no-brainer. Make it something affordable, but at the same time, something that's going to make you money. Because at the end of the day, what we want to do with this, and we're going we're gonna to talk about this in another video I'm going to be making in the series, is you want to figure out how to monetize your ads. Okay, So you can sell them something or, or you can get them to book a call with you. They can book a call on your calendar. So you can have a video. Hey, congratulations, your ebook's on the way. It's going to be in your inbox in just a few minutes. I am so excited for you. And before you go check your email, I just want to say congratulations. You took action and I have something very special for you because you are an action taker. You saw this page. You took action. You're ready to make a change in your life. So I would really, really, really love to reward you for that. And then you proceed to tell them, hey, I'm going to be taking on a few clients. Actually, no, don't say clients at this point. Just say that you're giving away consultation calls with you. It could be consultation calls, could be strategy calls, could be discovery calls. Basically, help them by helping them, like Frank Kern would say. So that's it. You offer them your time for free. And you have to value your time properly. So the whole, the whole idea here behind booking a call is that people have to actually go to your calendar, right? Okay, sorry, this is going to get a little bit messy, but you send people to your calendar. For example, there's a website I use called Calendly.com. And on that calendar, you survey them a little bit. So they can book the call with you but they have to answer a few questions. And those few questions are going to give you a really good idea of where they're, at, uh, where they're at, what's their problem, what they've done so far to try to fix it that didn't work, and finally, how you will be able to help them. And then you get on that call and you help them. Well, that was a bit of a, a the long version to try to explain this whole funnel thing to you. And I want to invite you, if you enjoyed this little tutorial, I'm going to be doing a workshop in the next couple months. And um, it's actually going to be, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be, it depends on when you watch this video. Maybe it's not two months uh, away anymore, but it's going to be a physical workshop in person. It's going to take place in the United States. I am so, so, so freaking excited about it. And you're going to find all the details in the link that's going to pop up around here. It's just go to marketingrockstars.live and you can fill out the application form there. And guess what? We're going to get on the phone and I'm going to tell you more details about this. Because I, I tried to explain all of this stuff for you to you. But what if we sat down and actually did this together? What if I showed you all the pieces of the puzzle and we put the puzzle together over uh, a weekend together with you, me, and a bunch of other cool people. I, I just, 
This is what I love to do. I love teaching people marketing. I love to show them how they can monetize their passion, how they can use the internet and do really cool stuff and sell more stuff because that's what you want to do. So all the details are going to be on the link. Go to marketingrockstars.live. Fill out the application form. There's going to be a two-day workshop. I'm going to teach you not only this, but man, I'm going to teach you how to do your first webinar. And I am beyond excited for that because I believe, and it's not just my belief, it's pretty much a fact, the best way to sell any services and products online is through webinars. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to become a brand, how to build a celebrity type personal brand so that you go after that focused niche that we talked about and become the go-to person for them. And we're also going to show you this important piece of the puzzle, how to freaking run Facebook ads so that you don't lose all your money. And so that people who see this page are actually the people you want to work with, the people who need your help. And so that the people that you end up calling here when you book the call with them are actually people who want to talk to you. Okay, so I'm really excited about this and uh, I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to talk to you. So go ahead, click the link learn to learn more about the event and what we're going to do and to book your call. I'm excited to speak to you. I'll see you, my friend, in the next video.